While starring in a top box office movie can make an actor millions up front, it is every actor's dream to land a role on a hit TV show. Not only can a successful TV show get up to making an actor a million dollars an episode, actors can bring in a steady multi-million dollar cash flow for the rest of their lives by doing nothing but sitting back and watching old episodes of themselves on TV. And those millions of dollars can even continue on down to their grandkids, just ask the family of Bob Denver who played Gilligan on Gilligan's Island. Starting at the lowest of the top 10 actors who make the most each year in residuals off reruns, at number 10 we have Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz currently pulls in $7.5 million a year. Arnaz is from the CBS 50s hit sitcom series I Love Lucy. Arnaz played the role of Ricky Ricardo, a Cuban band leader and husband to Lucy. I Love Lucy lasted for six seasons with its last episode airing in 1957. Arnaz died in 1986, but his family still receives up to $7.5 million a year off residuals from I Love Lucy. At number 9, we have Alex Borstein at $10 million a year. Borstein voices Lois Griffin on Family Guy, wife of Peter Griffin. Family Guy has 18 seasons under its belt, and Borstein has starred in every single episode, making her residuals one of the highest. Borstein would be racking in more than $10 million a year, but with her recent divorce, she has agreed to split her rerun income and show income with her ex-husband. Coming in at number 8 is Johnny Galacki at $10 million a year. Galacki played Leonard on The Big Bang Theory, and after 12 long seasons, The Big Bang Theory recently came to an end last year in May of 2019, but will continue to pay Galacki up to $10 million a year just off of reruns. The show became an empire as million watched worldwide, making the entertainment networks billions of dollars and all of the main characters millionaires. And this brings us into number 7, Jim Parsons at $10 million a year as well. Parsons will forever be known as the hilarious one-liner genius Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. In the final season, Parson was earning $900,000 an episode, and with the show's continued popularity, Parson can expect to continue to receive $10 million a year from reruns. Fans were sad to see the show end, but were excited to keep Sheldon in their lives with the spinoff show, Young Sheldon. Number 6 is Kelsey Grammer at $13 million a year. Grammer started off as Frasier Crane in the show Cheers, and then continued that role in the spinoff named after his character, Frasier. That gives Grammer over 20 years as Frasier, a hysterical radio psychiatrist. And his hard work paid off. The show aired its last episode over 16 years ago, and Grammer is still receiving up to $13 million a year off of reruns alone. Coming in at number 5 is Lucille Ball at $17 million a year. Lucille passed away in 1989, but her estate is still receiving the residual checks. Not only did Lucille Ball play Lucy in I Love Lucy, but the show invented the idea of the sitcom, changing the world of entertainment forever. Lucille and her husband owned the rights to the show, which put even more money in their pockets, but the family did sell the rights to CBS just recently in 2018. In our number 4 spot, we have Ray Romano at $18 million a year. Everybody loves Raymond, and they still do. Reruns of the show play on local stations and all over cable TV and other services, which mean huge residual checks for Romano, and not to mention he was both the star and co-creator of the show. According to Forbes, he recently placed third on a list of the highest paid TV actors, and at that time he didn't even have a current TV show on air. These days, Romano is one of the wealthiest Emmy award-winning actors of all time, thanks largely to his continued residual checks from Everybody Loves Raymond. Coming in at our number 3 spot is Nancy Cartwright at $20 million a year. Cartwright voices Bart Simpson on The Simpsons. That's right, Bart Simpson, son of Homer Simpson. The Simpsons is the longest-running animated comedy series in television history with 31 seasons and still making more. Cartwright has featured in every episode of The Simpsons since it started. Cartwright has also continued to voice over in The Simpsons game since the 1980s. Today, Cartwright makes $400,000 per episode. Taking the number two spot is Jennifer Aniston at $20 million a year. Not only has Aniston landed the roles of well-known movies like Bruce Almighty, giving her a net worth of about $240 million today, Aniston starred in one of the most popular shows in history, Friends. According to USA Today, Friends generates over $1 billion a year for Warner Brothers. Of that, Jennifer Aniston is entitled to 2%, which works out to about $20 million a year just off of reruns. 
Aniston has also been listed not only as one of the highest paid female actors of all time, but Aniston has also been listed several times as one of the most beautiful women in the world. And now, what you've all been waiting for. The actor who makes the most a year in residual income from reruns is Jerry Seinfeld at number one with a whopping $110 million a year. Seinfeld, the show about nothing. The show that is solely meant to make you laugh is still making people laugh even though it's been off the air for over 20 years. Episodes still play on your local station and millions watch it on Hulu, even though we have all seen each episode a thousand times. According to Forbes, being the main star and co-creator of the show, Jerry Seinfeld earned over $900 million over the past decade, primarily from old Seinfeld episodes, making him up to $110 million a year just off of reruns. I mean, the show is named after him. Jerry stands at the top of one of the richest actors in the world at almost a billion dollar net worth thanks to Seinfeld. Let us know which celebrity's income shocked you the most in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for joining us here at It's All Viral.